Hi everyone, we're coming to you today from the Skagit River. Randy and I are fishing with Danny Stondahl of River Chrome Guide Service. And uh, Danny, the river looks in pretty good shape. It does, it looks great. We're just coming off a big high water yesterday. Yep. Plenty of fish in the system before the rain, so we're hoping there's some nice new bright silvers in the river today. Silvers are the target, so let's go get some fish. Yeah, let's go get them. It's a beautiful morning out here today. It smells like dead salmon though. <laughs> yeah, there is that odor, isn't there? <laughs> Humpies everywhere. All right, well, we're gonna stop on the right side here in this first hole down below the mouth of the cascade and see if there's any fish holding there after this high water. Should have pushed up yesterday into there and we'll start there and see what we can do. Okay, so you're gonna start your cast like up in the shallow water where the current's coming down. Pretty close so you don't get out in those boils. And uh, you just wanna let it come through this slow stuff. They're gonna be st stuck right against the edge of the boils in the shallow water here. Just that little pocket there and then just let it go all the way down through to the tail out to where it starts dragging. Oh, there it is. Fish, fish on. That didn't take long. <laughs> so we're fishing eggs, of course, and uh, Procure Bite Enhancer on mine. Something I'm trying out. Seems to have worked. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good fish. I think you like those yeah, eggs. No, no. Yes, he did. <laughs> Fishing with Danny Strondahl, River Chrome Guide Service. First hole, and it didn't take too long. Heck yeah. Big buck. Perfect. You got that one. Hey, Randy's hooked up. Yeah, he is. Uh -oh, he's lip hooked. Get a buck. There we go. Get a little run out of him. Yeah. Uh oh. Under the boat. Biting really light, we actually missed four or five bites, but just shows that if you let them eat it for a minute, you know, and then reel down and get a good hook set, that have a lot better chance of landing these fish when they're biting light like that. So, because they will, they rarely will spit your eggs out when they bite. So, that's the result. Beautiful Randy fish. Nice buck. There you go. Nice job, Randy. Heck yeah. This one bit really light. Randy did a good job. We just let the bobber stay down. He even free spooled it and let it just stay down and slowly bit, bit, bit. Finally, could see the start see the float starting to move off. I can tell that he had it. And the end result is this. See the fish swallow right down and can't lose them at that point and you, you're definitely going to want to keep a nice bright fish like that. So oh, that's beautiful. That's fish. perfect. Yep. Good way to go. We're halfway to a limit and it's 8 a.m. It's not. It did happen. I wasn't sure. I set the hook on that. Yeah. You did, but I think you ran out of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
sun's a little brighter. These guys on this side are catching so many fish over here as the fish when the water's high like this just had a rain yesterday they'll cut they're not holding as much which is why we've we've caught a couple here but we're not knocking them dead yet is they're moving so they move up that corner and they hold in that pocket where those guys are fishing for just a few minutes I'd imagine and then they shoot up that flat up to the mouth of the cascade so they're uh, they're moving more than holding so we should you know we work this and fish will move up to us is why we're not catching them super fast right now but it looks like they're catching a bunch. They're, they're definitely moving today, which is a good sign. Another fish. That bobber stop. Is... Bobber stop change helped. Yeah, him. yeah. Danny moved my bobber stop down a foot and a half, and bam, immediately First got cat. a fish. <laughs> Egg bite is just great this morning. It is just great. Look at that. Rolling all up. Yeah. They do that. This one's definitely got a little more color to it. It does. Big old eggs hanging out of his mouth there. Just like that. Another like that. nice fish. This is just too much fun. <laughs> that is a dandy. Yeah. Mike's about a barbless. He's, he's Aren't we supposed to be barbless? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Stacking the odds against me, we're three still three getting the fish in. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Good job. Got a cromer there, uh, Randy? I do. There we go, jumping. No, I pulled it on. I had to make a look at this thing. Whoa! Great fish. Boy, they just keep coming. Yeah, nice and bright too. Danny, we're done with the eggs and we're moving on to twitching, right? That's it, yep. We got uh, all our fish except one each. We're gonna leave a spot out and go see if we can have some fun with twitching jigs on our way down now. Uh, so I like to use half ounce most of the time, especially in this river. It's a big river. Smaller rivers, three eighths, a lot of people use. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a bunch of different colors you can choose from. The only main thing you want to remember is you look at these two jigs here, you got you know a pink cerise head with all pink body, and then you got a dark jig with blues and purples and a black head. I run the dark ones in clear water, seem to tone down your bright colors as it gets clear. Helps a lot. And then we got you know bright colors. This will probably work today since we just had a high water. Round two. Yeah, we'll see if we can. jigs and coho. Hopefully, be back with some fish on on twitching jigs. Fish. Oh, look at that! <laughs> a hump dog. That is definitely a hump dog. Humpy on a twitching jig. Oh, he did it too. Dogs. We've caught coho, pink, snag the chinook, and we are on the Skagit, so what could be more appropriate? Sockeye. Sockeye. Sockeye on a twitching jig. Look at that. Gently release that guy and let him go back to do his thing. Classic yeah. isn't, sockeye. Isn't that beautiful. A beautiful fish? Sure is. Monster dolly. So we got a dolly now. Monster dolly, look at that thing. Boy, we are just catching every species nice today. Oh, okay. 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 okay, that's beautiful.
Danny, what a great day of fishing today. We got our limits, some uh, colored up, but a lot of bright fish. The egg bite was definitely better than the twitching bite. Yeah, yeah, we're coming off a of high water, so they seem to go go on the egg bite more so on edges of the river when the water gets up and colored. But no, it's perfect conditions. We caught tons of fish, released tons, lost tons more, so it was a great day. And you were telling Randy and I that Fishing is good way into November on this river, right? Yes, yeah, I'll actually be switching locations downriver a little more, but these B-Run coho that should st start showing up here in the end of October go all the way till Christmas time. Nice bright fish all the way through, so any of that time is a great time to come fish. And the bigger B-Run, bigger fish. Yes, lots of nice fish in the low teens, mid-teens, so it's a great fishery. All right, so if you guys want to go get some late season coho, Give Danny a call. Check out his uh, website, River Chrome Guide Service. We'll have the information here on your screen. Danny, thanks for a thanks great a day on the water. Yep. It's nice See, when it works out. Yep. See you guys on the water and online.